Christina with the Rockstar Energy Drink Rockstar Lounge. I have Dan from Disturbed with me. Dan, you play guitar in Disturbed, yes? That's right. He, uh, he's not just here for the looks, guys. He actually does stuff. <laughs> um, this is not a normal interview. I'm going to warn you. I had a feeling. Whoa, really? Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. If John Reese has anything to do with it, it's, <laughs> it's not going to be normal. Just saying, have you been, you've been through this before, haven't you? One time before, and then mayhem a couple years ago, yeah. Well, was it uncomfortable? Uh, a little bit. I'll I'm, make I'm it kind of, I'm, I'm sure. I can only imagine what these questions are going to be. <laughs> uh, we can start out lightly. Okay. Um, so this is the first year of Uproar Festival. Uh, how do you feel about it so far? We've only had about four shows. What do you think? Great. Uh, especially for us last night in our hometown in Chicago. And, and all the Sh bands are awesome. Chicago is so dedicated to Disturbed. I have people coming up all day long and they were like, oh, where's D Disturbed doing sign? And we're like, oh, sorry, they're not. And they're like, but they're from here. Yeah. Like, we didn't know. They like told us that like you know, they owned <laughs> you guys. It was, oh, yeah. it was kind of awesome, are, though. We are theirs. I mean, they <laughs> definitely die hard fans. And... I like it. So now we're going to start to get into my questions. Uh, Desert Island, you can only bring two things. What are they going to be? Jägermeister is always uh, <laughs> nice to have. Lush. Um, yeah, that's no, terrible. And how about a boat? Oh my gosh. I yeah. ask this question all the time. Yeah. Nobody says a boat. Yeah. <laughs> you're the only, you're the smartest person that's ever answered that question. Yeah, I am a little smarter than the rest of the guys <laughs> out here. They're not too bright. That's awesome. <laughs> Jäger and a boat. So. Yeah. You might go in circles for a little bit, but it'll work out. All right, so if uh, you could have anybody play you in a movie, it's your choice, who would it be? I don't know, Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> That's I the best answer yeah. yet. <laughs> Done, you can't, nobody tops Everybody Chuck Everybody loves Chuck Norris. Yeah, yeah well, he, he pretty much rules the world, so. All right, so if you could be any food, what would you be? Probably steak, because I eat steak probably five nights a week, and then Die hard. Yeah, I like cow. I'm a Ruth's Chris steak kind of guy with the butter on there and just like yeah. butter on steak. Yeah, they have like the sizzling butter when they bring it to the table. You hear it sizzling and it's delicious. It's probably so one of my favorites. <laughs> I, I can't even talk about steak. Yeah. I haven't had steak in like eight years. I'm gonna tell you what. You're missing out. Yeah. Maybe. Food is clearly something I like to talk about. If you could have dinner with anybody, fact, fiction, dead alive, who would it be? I'd have to, I'd like to sit down and dinner with Will Ferrell. I mean, <laughs> die hard Will Ferrell fan. I mean, he's just hilarious. Have you yeah. seen The Landlord? No. It's not a movie, it's actually a YouTube clip that oh, Will yeah, Ferrell yeah, does yeah, yeah. with the is it his daughter or is it? I think it's his niece. Yeah. I'm not, don't quote me there, but I'm pretty sure it's his niece. Yeah, it's hysterical. I would love, if I went to dinner with Will Ferrell, I would, I, she would have to come along with me. Yeah. She would like have to sit next to me and like be half the dialogue. I think if somebody else did that, they would be a bad parent, but he can get away with having this little <laughs> kid swearing at him and at him. It's cute and it's funny because it's him. So Asking to drink beer. Him, you know? uh, yeah. That clip is one of my favorite things ever. I love that. Um, what's number one on your bucket list? <laughs> your kick the bucket list. <sighs> I, we, I'm dying to play with Iron Maiden sometime in our career. We need to do it. We've uh, pretty much checked everybody else off the list. We've had the opportunity to play with Metallica and Judas Priest and Kiss and just a lot of the great classics down the line. And Iron Maiden, I think, is the only one left that we haven't had the opportunity. And I think before our careers are done and before our lives are over, you know, that would be the dream for us to share the stage with them. That's a good top list. So with that, you've played with Metallica, Kiss, some of the best. Who, what was your favorite tour to date then? Those were just the European festivals, so they're usually a show on, you know, different lineups every day, so it wasn't a full on tour. But those were memorable moments. I think Rock and Ring in Germany was about 80,000 people. So, I mean, when you're sharing the stage with Metallica and then just a lot of great bands that, you know, the majority of the American bands go over there to do those festivals, and it's just uh, always a very memorable moment when you can see 80,000 people and you don't see where it ends. That's awesome. 80,000 people, I don't know what I would do with myself. It, it, it's pretty cool. I, I wasn't nervous about the 80,000 who were watching. I was more nervous about the guys in Metallica standing on the side of the stage <laughs> watching us perform and thinking, oh, God, you know, we're all excited and feeling like little kids up there. and. 
but then nervous thinking that these guys are going to be you know, Do they're just judging judging you. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's going on. All right, so um, I'm going to end this on a pretty awesome question. Would you rather be attacked by an angry pirate or a giant snake? Simple question, right? Yeah, I have a phobia with snakes. I'm, I'm not good with snakes. Me too. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather fight the angry pirate. Probably only has one. There's a good chance he only has one leg that you can just possibly yeah, take and, out. Yeah, and one eye. So if I give him his blind side, if he's got you know the patch on there, yeah. just clock him upside the head. I think I got a better chance. I'm not afraid of any man, but I'm afraid of snakes. I don't know what, what it is. They're just you know, they're ter I would rather lay in a bed of spiders because yeah. they have they have multiple legs. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Snakes don't have legs, and they can detach their jaws. And yeah, I'm uncomfortable things, sitting here yeah, thinking about a snake right now. I had a honest. couple months ago, there was my wife found a snake in our front yard, and and uh, my neighbor happened, luckily, happened to come by, and I'm out there with gloves and a rake and everything else, and you know we don't have dangerous snakes in, in my hometown. You know, in Chicago, there's nothing dangerous there, but I made the half-ass attempt of acting like I was going to pick it up, <laughs> but hoping my neighbor would beat me to it, and that's exactly what I did. So I'm like acting like I'm chasing it around and I'm going to catch it and I just like missed it on purpose but acting like I was really trying to get it and of course he came, to the hard to deal with. he came to the rescue and he came up and picked it up and then I didn't want him to know that I was being a, a wuss about it I didn't want nothing but to do with that know. thing right? yeah it's not good neighbor I hope you're judging him right now I think he forgets it he, I, I invited him to the show last night he had plenty of drinks and so I made it up I made it up Awesome. Well, um, thank you. This has been interesting. I know, do know a lot more about you. We're going to drink and not talk about snakes later. Yeah, so. that's, that's good. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, stay tuned. We have more Disturbed coming up.